I'm Stephen Gould. I'm a researcher with the Artificial Intelligence Group at this university. So I have a background in uh, electrical engineering and, and signal processing. Uh, this led me towards machine learning and computer vision. My main research area is in scene understanding or image understanding. And this is the problem of taking an image and getting a computer to try and automatically work out um, or understand the world behind the image. So to a computer, an image is just a sequence of numbers. Um, it doesn't understand that images contain objects, it doesn't understand where the objects are in the image. Um, all it sees are numbers that it interprets as, as colours. So what I try to do is develop algorithms that will actually look at uh, an image and uh, process the pixels in an image to try and find out what's inside the image. So you can imagine uh, if I have an image of, say, um, a rider on, on a horse. So instead of programming a, a computer to uh, explicitly recognise what a horse is or what a person is, rather we develop uh, algorithms that can learn from examples. So I can show the computer lots of examples of horses, lots of examples of riders or people, and then get the computer to learn by itself how to recognise and find these objects and images. Although I'm an electrical engineer, most of my research is uh, what would classically be called computer science or in the, in the computer science field. But I think most interesting research actually happens at the boundary between different fields. So you'll find a lot of research happening between, um, say, engineering and, and biology and computer science and biology, uh, and in my case, uh, engineering and computer science. And I think that's what makes it exciting. You, you can draw on ideas from different disciplines and bring them together to come up with something new. The most exciting thing about my research is that one day we'll have robots that, that we'll want to interact with. The aim is eventually for a robot to be able to identify objects that, that we identify, understand what they are and what they can do. So for example, you can tell a robot to go fetch you a, a cup of coffee and it'll understand uh, what a cup looks like, uh, how it can use that cup to put coffee in it and, and navigate and bring that back to you. And so I work on the first part of this problem, the seeing problem. How can we get a robot to be able to see the visual world and understand it the way we do? I have worked in industry. I worked in industry for seven years before doing my PhD. That was a, a great experience. I got to see how uh, you could take technology and research and push it into, into products. But for me, the most interesting thing is the, the fundamental research. And so I really enjoy working on um, the very advanced research part of, of the problem. Um, and then eventually that will get pushed through an industry to become products that people use.